California, the Golden State, the country's most populous and, in the eyes of many, its most progressive state, has been a trendsetter on a variety of issues. But as a trendsetter, California has also played a part in the development of some of the country's worst institutionalized animal cruelty. California has surpassed Wisconsin to become the country's largest milk-producing state. According to USDA statistics, the average dairy farm in California has nearly 300 cows, while average dairies in Wisconsin have just over 50 cows. In California, the dry, hot climate has resulted in the development of a new kind of dairy, the so-called dry lot dairy. California's dry lot dairies look a lot like beef feedlots, but unlike beef feedlots where cattle are fattened over a several month period, dairy cows are kept on dry lots for years. These cows produce as much as 10 times more milk than they would in nature. They are under constant stress and their health suffers as a result. In order to produce milk, dairy cows, like other mammals, have to give birth. On modern dairies, the cows have a calf every year. The cow's gestation period is nine months, and so giving birth every 12 months is physically demanding. This burden is compounded by the fact that during seven months of their nine-month pregnancy, the cows are also producing milk. In California, the average cow gives more than 60 pounds of milk every day. Eating a natural grass diet, cows would not produce the amount of milk today's dairies demand, and so the cows are fed high energy concentrates instead. This abnormal diet creates a variety of disorders, including laminitis. The Farmer's Friend newspaper reports, high levels of concentrate feeding and increased levels of crude protein within the concentrates have both been found to lead to increased incidences of laminitis. This painful hoof malady is described in another industry publication as follows. The animal experiences severe pain and will not move. Not wanting to keep her feet on the ground, she then paddles from one to the other. Often, all feet are tucked under the body to try to reduce the weight on them. Mastitis, a bacterial infection of the cow's udder, is another disease aggravated by intensive milk production. According to a 1992 article in Dairy Today, over the past decade, researchers have found that as milk yield increases, so does the incidence of mastitis. In advanced stages, mastitis can be fatal. Another familiar and potentially fatal illness which afflicts high-producing cows is called milk fever. It results from inadequate calcium in the cow's blood. Industry experts explain that this condition occurs because milk secretion uses calcium faster than it can be replenished in the blood. Afflicted by these and other maladies, most dairy cows only last a few years in production. They are then trucked off to slaughter, usually for ground beef. In California, dairy cows are pushed especially hard. According to figures provided by the Milk Producers Council, almost 80,000, or one in every four dairy cows sent to slaughter in California, is so sick that she cannot even stand. These incapacitated animals are called downed animals, or downers and their suffering is inherent whenever they are transported to stockyards or slaughterhouses. Along with adult dairy cows, newborn dairy calves also suffer. Immediately after birth, the calves are taken from their mothers. Many go directly to calf ranches where they spend months in small wooden crates. Here, the females are raised to replace unproductive and worn out cows in the milking herd. The males are used for beef or veal. Other calves are sent to stockyards first. Here they experience severe, sometimes fatal, transportation and handling stress. Many become downed or die before ever reaching a calf ranch or slaughterhouse. 
Field research indicates that the incidence of downed animals in California is among the worst in the nation, a direct result of the state's abusive dairy industry. During studies conducted in 1992 and 1993, Worn-out dairy cows and newborn dairy calves made up more than 90% of the downed animals found at California's stockyards and slaughterhouses. This old dairy cow was left to suffer overnight in the parking lot of a central California stockyard. Local law enforcement was called, but since the cow was scheduled to be slaughtered the following morning, decided not to intervene. These two dying calves were sent to a Southern California stockyard by a dairy farmer trying to avoid the cost of disposing of their carcasses on his farm. The stockyard manager refused to humanely euthanize the animals, stating that they would die on their own anyway. Animal control was summoned to the site, but did not charge the stockyard for cruelty to animals. Downed animal suffering has become part of the routine at stockyards throughout California. This is particularly upsetting since California stockyards have voluntarily adopted a statewide policy against accepting downed animals. Ironically, even stockyards posting signs proclaiming that they do not accept downed animals do, in fact, continue to accept downed animals. It is obvious that industry cannot police itself. From the stockyard, downed animals are usually taken to the slaughterhouse. This slaughterhouse, as the name implies, specializes in killing dairy cows, and as one might expect, it is equipped with a holding area for downed cows. At the slaughterhouse, like at the stockyard, downed animals are subjected to routine neglect and abuse. Low on the priority list, downed animals are killed last, after all the walking animals. They may lay for hours or days before finally being put out of their misery. Downed animals are also subjected to intolerable handling cruelties. They are commonly dragged by their legs or pushed with forklifts. Unfortunately, the business of dry lot dairying and the associated animal abuse is spreading from California to other states. USDA statistics show that average dairy herd size is growing and that dairy cows are being pushed harder than ever before. In 1950, the average cow produced 5,700 pounds of milk. By 1975, the average cow produced 10,360 pounds, and in 1992, the average cow produced 15,423 pounds of milk. Agribusiness is now pushing for the use of bovine growth hormone, which will increase milk production by as much as 25%. With increasing milk production, dairy cows experience additional stress and suffering. Like other animal-based foods, dairy products are the result of extensive and unnecessary animal cruelty. As consumers, we can choose not to participate in these cruelties. Contact the USDA and encourage them to work on policies to prevent farm animal abuse. If the marketing of downed animals is prohibited, for example, dairy farmers will be encouraged to treat their cows better in the first place to prevent downers. Write to your congressional representative and senators. Urge them to support the Downed Animal Protection Act. 
cut down on your consumption of dairy products or eliminate them from your diet altogether. There is a growing assortment of delicious and nutritious non-dairy foods which can be used in place of dairy products. For more information on dairyless foods or other ways to help prevent farm animal suffering, please write Farm Sanctuary, P.O. Box 150, Watkins Glen, New York, 14891, or call 607-583-2225.